To get started with the GraphQL client in Postman, click on the new button and then click on GraphQL requests. To work with GraphQL, you will need at least two things, a URL and a query. Here I'm going to be working with a Postman's GraphQL echo service, which you can see loads my query automatically using introspection. This query is now loaded into my query explorer where I can explore various operations. Today I'm going to be exploring query operation, mutation, as well as subscription operation. To get started with the query operation, I'm going to go ahead and click on this hello, and I will show you what that looks like when I click on query. I can get my data back from that operation as well as my status code, and I can go ahead and save this request into its own collection. To do that, I'm going to call it an example request. So I'm going to call this example one, and I'm going to create a collection called graph QL. If I want to add more requests into this folder, I can always do that by clicking on add request and adding a GraphQL request, or I can also duplicate my request to add more requests in this example. So I'm going to show you what an example for mutation looks like. Mutation allows you to create data, whereas query allows you to retrieve data. To work with mutation, I'm going to go ahead and unselect my query operation and then select my mutation operation, which also takes various arguments for a person, such as name and age. I'm going to add these arguments in and I'm going to go ahead and save and send my query. I can see that I am now able to create more data on that server using that mutation operation. If I was interested in working with a subscription operation, I can always deselect this mutation operation and I can select a subscription operation. Subscriptions allow me to fetch data that is changing frequently, and I can subscribe to the data available on different fields. So let me go ahead and show you an example for this greetings, which will return a stream of hello greetings in different languages. I'm going to go ahead and click on query, and I can see that I am able to subscribe to multiple data. Like queries, I am able to fetch multiple data as well as filter by messages, responses, and other types. I'm also allowed to send multiple operations using the GraphQL interface. I can create, execute multiple operations by selecting other operations I might be interested in. Here I'm interested in subscription, but I can also create a operation for query and I can see and send multiple operations like so. And with this drop down button, I can see which operations I am sending when I am clicking on query. So here I can send my query operation and then I can use this drop down button to send my subscription operation. I hope this gives you a deeper insight into working with the GraphQL client using Postman.